Cody Rhodes agreed to a title defense against Sola Sokoa at SummerSlam in a chaotic closing sequence on Friday's SmackDown. Jacob Fatu of Sola Sokoa's Bloodline faction attacked tag team champions Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano following their title defense over A-Town Down Under in the SmackDown main event setting the stage for a promo from Solo Sokoa. As Sokoa spoke, surrounded by Fatu, Tamatanga, and Tongaloa, Cody Rhodes entered and announced that he wanted to defend the undisputed WWE Championship against Solo Sokoa at SummerSlam, pending official approval from GM Nick Aldis. Cody then offered not to wait until SummerSlam and squared up to the bloodline. Cody quickly fell victim to a four-on-one attack. Randy ran in for the save, but was put through the announce table by the Bloodline. The Bloodline also tied Cody up in the ropes and forced him to watch as his ally, Randy, was put through the table. Additionally, Logan Paul's return has officially been announced for Friday, July 19th, edition of SmackDown, where he will presumably answer the SummerSlam challenge issued by LA Knight during this week's episode. LA Knight presented a signed contract for a title match against Logan at SummerSlam during Friday's show, with only Logan Paul's signature standing in the way of a U.S. title bout for the August 3rd pay-per-view in Cleveland. In other news, Stephanie Backer is already set to make her first WWE appearances. Just days after her signing was confirmed, WWE has announced that Stephanie will be appearing at their live house shows in Mexico this weekend. The company will be in Mexico City this Saturday and in Monterey this Sunday for live events. Stephanie was originally supposed to be in action at New Japan and CMLL's Fantastica Mania USA show on Saturday. But CMLL and New Japan issued a statement earlier this week announcing that Stephanie had departed both promotions and would no longer be appearing in San Jose, California for the show. With her departure, Stephanie was stripped of both the CMLL World Women's Championship and World Women's Tag Team Championship. WWE announced her signing on Wednesday with Shawn Michaels sending out a tweet welcoming her to NXT. Stephanie was born in Chile and started her career in the country before becoming a star in Mexico. She drew acclaim from audiences in the United States with standout performances against Mercedes Monet for New Japan in 2023 and at AEW and New Japan Forbidden Door last month. On to some AEW updates, international champion Will Ospreay will defend his title against MJF in the opening contest of AEW Dynamite's 250th episode on July 17th. A champion versus champion match is also set for next week's AEW Dynamite 250. World champion Swerve Strickland will face continental champion Kazuchika Okada in a singles competition on next week's episode. Swerve confirmed on Wednesday's show that he will be part of Team AEW in the Blood and Guts match set for the July 24th Dynamite. Okada will also take place in Blood and Guts as part of Team Elite. After Wednesday's Dynamite went off the air, TBS champion Mercedes Monet announced an open challenge for the TBS title for Dynamite 250, open to any competitor with the exception of Britt Baker. And in case you missed it, TNA's Joe Hendry made a surprise appearance on Tuesday's WWE NXT, serving as a mystery partner for Trick Williams. Joe was introduced as a surprise partner for Trick in the show's main event on Tuesday, with the duo defeating Ethan Page and Sean Spears in tag team action to close the show. Ethan Page was chased away from the ring during the match by Metaphors or Omenza, as their storyline is looking to avenge Noam Dar's injury at the hands of Ethan Page continues to play out. With Sean Spears left on his own, Joe Hendry scored the victory for his team after hitting a chokeslam on Sean Spears for the win. Joe Hendry and Trick Williams celebrated as the show closed. Joe had been featured in advertising for Tuesday's NXT episode and heavily teased as appearing. A Joe Hendry clip also aired at the conclusion of last Sunday's NXT Heatwave event. The TNA star also made an appearance in last month's number one contenders battle royal on NXT. In a recent interview I did with Joe Hendry, we spoke about his experience working with NXT and Shawn Michaels. Here's what he had to say. I, I will say this, my time in WWE and in NXT has been everything that you would want it to be. I couldn't have asked for a better environment, a more encouraging atmosphere, like people are happy to be there. It's, um, I just feel they've treated TNA so well. And 
you know, just the fact that Sean is willing to take the time to not only give advice and guide and teach, but also when I did the promo with him after the match as well. I don't know if people quite realize how impactful and meaningful it is that a TNA guy got the pin in the main event of a WWE show. The fact that Shawn Michaels has faith in me enough to to allow me to compete in that main event and also after I come back from the Battle Royal I'm shouting at Shawn Michaels and he turns to the camera and he goes I believe I hope the fans understand how much um, that Shawn is doing for me and for TNA there um, I have to say I can only speak for myself but I will say I'm just very um, grateful to be in the situation that I am and to be learning from the people that I've been learning from on both sides. So I, the, you know, everything I've learned at TNA and also things I'm learning from on in, in WWE NXT, like from Shawn Michaels and Matt Bloom and, and Teddy Taylor and, and Johnny Russo and, you know, just like the, the awesome team that they've got in there. When I asked him about what goal he wants to accomplish, he said wrestling John Cena as part of John Cena's retirement matches is his dream. I believe that I will wrestle John Cena. It would be full circle for me. Um, when I was 15 years old, I, there was a wrestling show. I'd never been to a live wrestling show before. I wanted to go, I couldn't go. My friend went, he got the VIP package and my phone rings. I answer the phone, it's my friend Kyle's phone, but the person that answered said, yo, it's your boy, John Cena. My friend asked John Cena, look, my friend couldn't make it, but could you call him? And John Cena talked to me for five, 10 minutes while there was a huge queue at this VIP thing because my friend told him that he couldn't, that I couldn't make it, you know? So John Cena was the first wrestler, the first pro wrestler I ever talked to. <laughs> so I've, I've actually never verbalized that before. John Cena was the first pro wrestler I ever talked to. So for me to be one of his final matches would be, it, it, it would mean a lot. I'm literally mind blown right now. By the way, have you talked to him since then? I had a tryout in 2013 and I told him, but John Cena will have thousands, hundreds of thousands of people telling him things. So I wouldn't expect him to remember it, but I do think that it's something I would like him to, to know because it had a profound impact on me. And to me, that is demonstration of how to treat your fans and how valuable a moment can be for people. I do think it had a very positive effect on me and it showed me what this business is actually all about. John showed me that. And last but not least, Joe Hendry will be part of his six-man elimination match for the TNA World Championship at Slammiversary. Moose will defend against Josh Alexander, Frankie Kazarian, Nick Nemeth, Steve Macklin, and Joe Hendry. The event is being held July 20th in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. What would it mean to you to win here, to come out as champion, and how are you feeling heading into the matchup itself? I think that, you know, sorry to everyone else, but I think that me winning the TNA World Championship is absolutely what's best for business. It's what, it's what the fans want, and I think we're in an era where uh, the fans are getting what they want. So I am going to go to Montreal and I will deliver what the fans want to see. I will become TNA World Champion. I really believe that something special is happening right now. And I think that I have what it takes to be the guy in TNA wrestling. As you know, as, a, as amazing as our roster is, you know, all the people in this match are unbelievable. But I really do feel this is my time. And I think that the fans feel that too. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. Catch you on the next one.